Before you start your installation, select a location for the Jumpstart server that has access to power and can be connected to the display wall. Select a location for the server that has unrestricted airflow. If you need to install the server far from the video wall, contact your Christie dealer for recommendations on appropriate cable extenders. If mounting the server in a rack, avoid uneven mechanical loading. The part number for the optional rail kit is 128-100-102-01. Make sure the microtiles installation includes 1 to 6 ECUs and a single master ECU. Ensure that your network provides internet access for the Jumpstart server. The Microtiles web interface requires Adobe Flash, which is not pre-installed on the server because of license restrictions. Looking at the back of the Jumpstart server, you'll notice a power cord connector, PS2 mouse and keyboard connectors, four USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, a J45 network connector, audio line in and out, and microphone connectors. DVI input card, mini display port output card. Note that the bottom connector is AMT enabled. Note that the Jumpstart server software does not decode sound at this time. Note that HDCP is not supported for inputs at this time. Some examples of appropriate video sources include digital TV tuner, laptop, or PC. The Jumpstart server includes an AMD FirePro W600 display module and six mini DisplayPort to DVI adapters. With this configuration, you can connect a maximum of six display devices to a Jumpstart server. DVI-D connection requires extended display identification data, or EDID, which is detected at startup. Turn the ECUs and display wall on. Identify the master ECU. A flashing green LED light on the right side of the back panel identifies the master ECU. Connect the smaller end of each mini display port to DVI adapter to the port on the back of the server. Connect the other end of each cable to a DVI extension cable. Connect the extension cable to a display device in any order. Connect the keyboard and mouse to the USB 2.0 ports on the rear of the Jumpstart server. You may wish to use a wireless mouse and keyboard. These are not included, however. If you are connecting the server directly to the master ECU with an Ethernet cable and you are not using a router, make sure the IP addresses on the server and master ECU are configured on the same network. To configure the IP address of the server, consult with your network administrator. Connect one end of a CAT5 Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the rear of the Jumpstart server. Connect the other end of the CAT5 Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the master ECU or a router if you're using a router. 